Hey, the upcoming WWDC event is just a few weeks away, scheduled to start from June 7th. And while many observe it as just a pure software thing, which this time I find really exciting because of the iPad OS particularly, there is a storm of constant rumors and predictions about the arrival of new MacBook Pro models in the middle of the year, which means very soon. But that's not all. Hi guys and welcome to Digital Marketing Channel. My name is Marco and this is your dose of Apple news, leaked information, rumors and opinions. Make sure you subscribe, leave a comment below, hit the like button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss the next video. Friends, if you ever wanted a good website, a blog, a social network, a web store and everything with elite class hosting, you can look no further than my buddies from Ireland. Blackbeard Hosting. Simple, easy to use website installer, 24 7 customer support, real people, and more. Hosted on fast, reliable, and secure servers. Hey, even VPN is included. Check it out. One month free trial, no credit card needed. The link is in the description and in the comment. With digital markings code, you get 5% off. Blackbeard Hosting. Hosting as it should be. <laughs> It's been a year since Apple announced its grand transition to its own silicon. And while the original plan, as we all know, covers two years time frame, yet frequent new releases have started giving us impression how Apple may complete this switch even sooner. Well, not quite. After all, we are still waiting for the Max with some maybe not that much exciting Intel chips. But according to Bloomberg, they are still on a way for those in need for x86 architecture. Still, with November release of MacBook Pro, MacBook Air and Mac Mini with M1 chip previous year and recently refreshed new 24-inch iMacs, such high anticipation for new gen MacBook Pro models, it shouldn't come as a surprise at all. Contradictory to initial claims, 14-inch and 16-inch MacBooks were not shown in 2020, so as expected, rumored dates have been flashed forward to this year. Apple analyst Ming Chi Kuo and Bloomberg's Mark Gunman have surprised many with a couple of huge leak bombs, describing how new professional MacBooks will come with mini LED displays, much like the one on the latest 12.9 inch iPad Pro. Leaks have revealed some other details as well like how 14 and 16 inch MacBooks will bring back micro SD slot, HDMI port, MagSafe power connector, while getting rid of the touch bar. You know I'm sad for that, right? New design with flat edges, visually similar to the one on iPad Pro and latest edition of iPhones, have also been speculated. Sadly, Taiwanese supply chain news website Digitimes has reported that we should not hope for new Pro MacBooks before 2022. Something similar was seen in one publications by Nikkei Asia back in March, which hints production delays of two MacBooks. Yet just recently, Mark Gurman, in his article for Bloomberg, shared how Apple is preparing to release several Mac laptops and even desktops with faster new processors and new designs while bigger iMacs, MacBook Air and Mac Pro have also been included, although following release schedule for later, two most important Apple products that are supposedly coming are new Pro MacBooks. According to his sources, Apple will indeed launch two new MacBooks for professionals this summer, which matches early predictions. Both MacBooks will allegedly be powered by 10 core chips, codenamed Jade C Chop and Jade C Die, processors with 8 high performance and 2 energy efficient cores, yet featuring either 16 or 32 graphical variations, with support up to 64 gigs of unified system memory. Wow! Although still no sign of 12 core chip, the one that was leaked in benchmarks from a few months ago? Just a couple of days ago, YouTuber Luke Miani was not shy of spreading his own portion of rumors, coming from one of the tipsters called Alexander. Their leak data, beside 10 core chips, include insane up to 30 hours of battery life, Dolby 
Atmos and spatial audio support, and believe it or not, 1080p cameras. Can you imagine that? But it seems like there is a catch. Folks from Digitimes were actually right all along. There is no sign of MacBook with mini LED at all. Maybe not till 2022. That does not mean we will not see new MacBooks though. Yet, as it turns out, even if the initial paywall report pointed out possible delay till 2022, full report now claims second half of 2021 is still possible with some supply constraints. One of the developers, yet part-time analyst Dylan DTK, has also posted his sets of predictions on Twitter, certain that the chips will definitely be carrying M1X designation and not M2 as it was previously guessed. The same source is claiming that we can expect more Thunderbolt channels, and if the info is accurate, at least three USB-C ports. While coming from multiple sides, predicted design changes do seem consistent. It should be added there will be no MacBook Pro mark at the front of the display bezel, something that apparently is once again becoming a standard. No doubt, similar fate will not skip the next generation MacBook Air. So it looks like it's summer then. And when would be the best time for the introduction of new MacBook Pro laptops, if not on the upcoming WWDC event? Well, any other month as well, unfortunately. Just be aware of one possibility as Gurman reveals that we may even see next Mac Mini codename J374, powered by identical M1X processor. This could mean that Apple can finally put an end to Intel-based version. While Mark's report indeed suggests that it can happen, he does not exclude scenario of eventual delay, which wouldn't be the first time either. The next Mac Mini may finally bring in some new, slightly improved design choices. But those are just rumors, so as with every other rumor mill, keep your pinch of salt close by, cause you may not like the flavor. I do believe, at least according to what we heard so far, that 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pro models could truly be showcased in June already. As far as Mac Mini goes, I would go for later in the year, likely when the new, bigger, professional iMac is released. Now this is one of those moments when normally you want to be wrong. And what do you think? Will Mac Mini, along with new MacBook Pro variants really be announced on this WWDC or you assume it may happen later? Please answer in the comment section below. That's it, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the thumbs up and turn on notifications. Make sure you check the links in the description. Beside offers and discounts, you may find some Apple products and accessories there as well. Thank you so much for watching Digital Marketing Channel. My name is Marco, talk to you soon. Have an excellent day. Bye.